with the 2.4 liter. Um, I'm trying to put change the timing chain, change the balance chain, and change the water pump is the goal. Our alldatadiy.com. They do have the full shop manual, just like you would have to uh, at a, the dealership. So it's a pretty good manual. The downside is is it's on the computer and it is a subscription you know some of the videos and it's hard to fit all this stuff in on a video uh, I've seen there was one guy that replaced this uh, time and chain and did a good video but it just didn't have the detail that you needed you really need to know the torques and all um, for each step and I think Chloe's did a video as well but they don't have the variable valve timing engine. They just had, I think it was a 2.2 and the 2.4 with the um, the standard timing. I'll try to go through and catch each step, but there again, anytime you're working on a vehicle like this, you really need to see it for yourself, get, get the manual. I've got to take the tensioner out and I've got already pulled the pulley I had to use a three-quarter inch impact, which 1,400 foot-pounds of torque, to break the uh, balance or crank um, crank pulley. So um, that was a surprise. Remove number one um, cylinder spark plug. Uh, so we did that, and we want to turn the engine count. Uh, sorry, we want to turn the engine clockwise until the number one piston is top dead center. So I've already done that. So I turn the uh, crank until number one is uh, at the very top. And it's got to be on the exhaust stroke. Remove the engine front cover and that's what I'll do now. It's down here so I gotta go on the side here and pull that off. This is 10 millimeters. See, I got the tire off. I've got this little uh, cover off. Right here, there's 10 of these bolts that hold the uh, front cover. And most of them are fairly easy to get to. There's two on the very top that are more difficult. Really, uh, they're a challenge. So now we're ready to take the cover off. I'm going to go ahead, at this point, remove the tensioner and the, uh, the guides at the top. So there's one bolt down there that we've got to get off before we can get that cover. I think it's a 13. Okay, we got that bolt. That bolt is uh, part of the water pump procedure. Okay, just a tip for getting the uh, timing cover off, the front cover. Um, start from the top. Once you get that uh, 13 millimeter bolt out, it's for the water pump. It's down here below the uh, water pump cover. Uh, there's a tab right here on this cover. And uh, if you get a large screwdriver, and that's out of focus, but if you get a large screwdriver um, flathead, you can take it and turn it sideways like that. Can, yeah, can, we can see that. And what that's going to do is open this cover up. It's the only way I was able to get any movement on the cover. I tried the points at the bottom and they would not budge. Alright, so we're down under the car. And I'm going freehand. So you can see once I got that top part off, then I came down here on this little pry point, And uh, it was just, it came loose. So now it's pretty much all off, all free. So I gotta take the uh, crank bolt out, and um, and then that cover will be off. So let's get that done. Okay, so I got the timing cover off. It's right here, and you can see I had already drained the oil. 
but you definitely want to have something to catch the oil because uh, there was just a little bit of oil there inside the cover. The keyway right here and it's basically a little off of six o'clock and for the correct uh, orientation that is 12 o'clock so I am on number one top dead center on the intake stroke uh, is where I believe I'm at so that needs to be at 12 o'clock so you rotate the engine clockwise uh, and put that at 12 o'clock and that should uh, make the timing correct um, obviously this all has to be uh, set once you get the new timing gear off and get the new timing gear back on but I'm going to go ahead and roll it now my ch I put the tensioner back in so everything should be tight um, so I'm going to roll it and uh, try to make that uh, top dead center on the exhaust stroke okay top dead center for number one you see the screwdriver here I took my spark plugs out okay so this is number two you see how far down it is look at number one boom right there top dead center and uh, you can there's the intake lobes are right here it's not on the intake stroke the exhaust is um, actually rotated I skipped a gear I'm, uh, well I was going to change just the tensioner and I got over here and started tinkering around with the um, exhaust cam and uh, it jumped this tooth so at that point I decided I had to uh, make the decision and I'm going to go ahead and do this whole job I already had the parts but I was just going to kind of do it the shortcut way because I thought that it was just the tensioner and it was just the tensioner but uh, now that I've taken the tensioner out putting it back in you can see how tight it is right now so it, it was definitely just the tensioner um, now we need to take the tensioner out if you have an oil filter uh, that little oil filter cover wrench it's a 32 millimeter and it's the same size to take the tensioner out the tensioner of course is back behind here and I've already broken it loose the first time and here's the tensioner right there that's uh, the tip on that use the oil filter wrench for the tensioner and we got to take this guide off right here so that's 10 millimeter same as the cover alright that's off alright so now we've got to remove the key phaser on the exhaust this is This is 18 millimeter socket. And it's a 24 millimeter wrench that you hold the exhaust cam. Okay, so here we go. We got a 10 millimeter Allen, and it takes off this cover for the fixed timing chain guide. So we're going to take it off, and then there's a bolt under there, and you remove it and one bolt on the bottom uh, fixed timing chain guide so we'll get that removed we got the key phaser loose so we'll take these out and get all the chains off and then we'll start getting it uh, reinstalled and ready to go and I've got my little helper here so we're having fun so I got the uh, bolt out of the exhaust key phaser and just like it said in the manual um, you take this off so just to make it easy I just took my uh, dead blow hammer and just slightly tapped on that and uh, got the chain off and here's the key phaser. Alright so underneath that cap uh, on the fixed uh, chain guy I got the bolt out and the bolt under the bottom out and this guide fell out once I took the key phaser off. Okay, here we go, got the uh, key phaser on the intake, broke loose and that bolt's going to have some oil on it so be aware of that. And let's see what we can do 
chains loose and it looks like um, just tap on that a little bit. There it is. And the intake key phaser right there. All right, so what I've got left for the timing chain is I gotta drop the timing chain down through the bottom. Uh, and I've gotta take the adjustable uh, or the tensioner guide out. So let's uh, let's get this off. Let's see, I can't drop it down. Not sure. All right, so there you have it. The timing chain is out. Okay, so the crank timing chain gear. Okay, valve tensioner guide right here. It comes up. Uh, we got to push it up from the bottom and it comes out of the top. So that is the timing chain parts. We'll just look over here. You can see all the parts right there. I got, got them laid out on the cardboard. We have the balance chain tensioner right here. Um, we have the chain timing chain oilers up here. So we will be replacing that. There's a new one in the kit. I don't know if there's enough light. Um, so we got to take the tensioner out and then we're going to take all these guides out uh, that you see there and then we should be able to get the time and the uh, balance chain off. I changed the gear on the water pump and I put all the, I put the new uh, crank gear on. You can see it's here and um, I've got the two, the upper guide and the side guide on, and now I'm about to put the tensioner guide on. So that's where we're at right now. So the tensioner guide's going to go on, and then I'll be done with the balance chain. Got my torque wrench set. It's a big, it's a challenge to get these with the torque wrench. gear and there's a timing mark here and we've got the black link connected there um, and if you go up let's look up here you can see the balance shaft right there okay and what it is on this chain there's one uniquely identified mark and in this case it's yellow and it goes on the mark there's an arrow on that balance uh, sprocket so it aligns the uniquely one uh, identified one aligns on the balance uh, gear on the intake and you put that one on first and then weave the chain down without the guides uh, I've got the guides in place here already but just you do that without the guides and weave the chain around and then get your chain on it's, it takes a little bit to get it in place but you want to get that chain in line with that uh, mark on the crank gear and then you uh, kind of weave the chain back up and I kind of stuck the chain around that uh, part of the case right there I just kind of looped it around so I could set it the uh, mark on this one so this is the exhaust it's the same link uh, I don't know if you can see it it's right there but it's the black colored link as well so it's the same 
as the crank gear. And you line those, the mark on the sprocket to the black link. And then you feed it, uh, once you got those three in place, then you feed it around the water pump. So everything is in place and then you place this top guide in and the bolts are torqued to 109 inch pounds and then you place the side uh, the side guide right here that's also 109 inch pounds last guide for the balance chain is right here you put that bolt in at 109 inch pounds and then the very last thing for this is the tensioner for the guide chain and those are 89 inch pounds so the very last thing that I have to do is pull this little pin out and then that's going to set the tension and we'll be, be good to go here. I'm going to leave that in until after I put the timing chain and make sure everything is all set then I'll pull that out. So next step is the timing chain. <laughs> 